Welcome back, friends. I'm Mellow7, and this is Football Manager 2018, and we're back for another international friendly today against Algeria, because I think that fits our whole French theme that we got going on with our AC Ajaccio uh, save at the moment. But first, we've got a couple other things to talk about. Oh, it doesn't like the new offer. Okay. I might have to get involved with that. We did offer him a new contract as well as uh, the goalkeeper, um, Shakarov. There we go. So he signed his, but but Pangben wasn't wasn't happy with that one. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what the problem was. I'll have to look into it later. All right. So let's look at first before we get into the USA stuff. Let's go ahead and talk about Ajaccio and what we've what we've had going on there. Uh, so you guys saw this one, three one win against SM Con. We followed that up with a. Not spectacular, 1-0 victory over Amiens, Amiens. and um, I don't know why we don't see, you can see right there that we we dominated, we just couldn't, we couldn't score, we couldn't solve them, um, it was just a down day for our, our front, uh, front three, and um, Hernandez picked up a little bit of a knock and missed the next match, and and that was kind of that was how it. Or did he mix the next one? I think he did. And so, um, and like I say, we we won, but it wasn't it wasn't exciting. Uh, we went on to Bordeaux uh, on the road, and we did lose this one two to four. So um, Payne Ben got a goal. Uh, Tebow was in. He got a goal. We ran Tebow and um, Grobois. Um, both in along with Mueller. And uh it just wasn't it wasn't great. I mean our defense played eh Pikachu had a down game. But you know, I mean it's Bordeaux. We're gonna lose games. I mean that's just that's just how it is and they're a good team. So so we lost to Bordeaux. It is what it is. We went next this one. We're gonna watch the highlights of this one. This game was spectacular. Mueller Nobody was sitting in the stands going, Mueller, Mueller. You might be old if you get that reference. Um, every single one of our five goals, he's responsible for. Every one. Both of these own goals were created as players scrambled to try to keep him from scoring, and he would have scored on both of them if they didn't score first. Uh, and the penalty kick was a penalty against him in the box. Hernandez took the shot. But Mueller was responsible for all five of our goals. On the other side, Jankowski absolutely treated, I think it was Pikachu, it was Pikachu as his whipping boy. Just turned him inside out. Pikachu did not know what was going on. I actually disciplined him for this, and he was shocked to be disciplined. If he was a 5'9", he would have been fined. So how shocked would he have been then? He... He essentially gave up all four of these goals. He didn't quite give up all four of them because he left in the 59th, and I think they – no, no, he gave up all of them. In fact, he got taken out as this – right after this goal was 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 scored. I I had the, the, the substitution already queued up. They scored against him. It's like, are you sure you want to make this change? I'm like, yep, I'm sure. So let's take a look at this one, and we'll look at the goals. Oh, my God, this game was so much fun. I went to start recording this and somehow it hit the wrong button. I've been recording for two hours, so God knows what's on that recording. So they started out strong here, uh, and you can see Jankowski just absolutely whoops everybody. Beautiful cross across. Leandro uh, Spadaccio over there on their left wing uh, was the recipient of some of those, but but Jankowski was the man. So Hernandez comes in, Legree gets this one into Axel, off the deflection, and the tackle comes in. Perfectly timed, takes Mueller off his feet from behind, but happens to push the ball in at the same time. Guerrero back up to Jankowski. He just takes it himself that time, crushes it from the edge of the box. Suleiman gets this one up to Legree. El Tigre up to Hernandez. I swapped Hernandez around. Mueller just keeps that one himself. So I swapped Hernandez and um, Gross Boy around. Uh, I had him so that Pain Bang into Fair. Chest it down beautifully. Hernandez across off the post. Mueller had it, but again, the tackle comes in and puts the ball in. So um, I had Hernandez is right-footed. 
and uh, Gross Boy's left footed. So I had him reverse thinking as they come into attack, I wanted their dominant foot inside for the goals. But the reality is I more or less want Mueller taking more of these goals. I want Hernandez crossing in because that's where his strength was. Even when he was the primary striker, he tends to go wide and then cross in. And Grossboy is is an attacking midfielder by by trade. He should be making assists, not necessarily scoring the goals as well. So I decided to put their dominant foot on the out foot to help with these crosses in. And it's this was the first game I did that, and it seems to have worked. Suleiman up to El Tigre, out to Hernandez again. He chases that one down, gets a beautiful cross in. Mueller's there, again, puts that one away. Those are the two in a row that he just flat out scored. Uh, Hernandez was was excellent as well in this one. Jankowski, uh, he was he was spectacular. Again, beats his man, feeds it across. Leandro's there again, puts it over Pikachu. Leandro wasn't bad in this one either. Both of their wingers were excellent. Jankowski, you know what's coming. Jankowski to Leandro, goal. We just we had no answer for them. Um, it's not. Let's see. Let's. Are they going to show us? Let's go back a little bit farther, and we'll see the penalty, and then we can see the shot. So Matthew, we we were uh, running Pascal Matthew. Mueller's in there. That was the penalty there. It wasn't the world's worst penalty, but they were trying to keep uh, trying to keep him out, and uh, and that was that. Uh, I guess we can look at the penalty shot, right? Hernandez, ah, beautiful. Beautiful. So that was that game. Mueller absolutely just took that took that game over. Like I say he re, they should have given him all five goals. And then on the backside, man, Jankowski was 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 dominant. So that was that. That leaves us where uh, we are in third place. Uh, I was gonna say we're beating up on lesser talent, but I don't think that's really the case. I mean. Marseille, Marseille is good. Bordeaux actually beat us, and they're down here. We we have beat Amens. We have beat Caen. Uh, I think – do we beat Toulouse? Reims, they're towards the bottom. Guncamp, uh, they're actually in seventh place. So we've played well. I, I take it back. We haven't – I mean – we got crushed by PSG, who's down here inexplicably. inexplicably. I mean, four and four. I mean, they crushed Ka, they crushed us, 2-0 over Lyon. Where's Lyon? Uh, I know they're there, I just can't. Uh, towards the bottom, 14th. And they beat Gunkamp. Uh, but Mets beat them, Reims beat them, Troy beat them, and Monaco beat them. I, I don't know what's going on with them this season. I, I oh, geez, that's got to be, that's got to be coaching. I can't imagine that their talent levels dropped off. Um. Anyway, so we're in third place, which is higher than we thought. I would love to be kind of sixth, seventh in there. If we can do that, um, we'll be okay. I tend to underestimate these, so so maybe fourth, fifth is where we need to be. Uh, we did have a cup draw. Whoops. And you can see we did pick, we did get Reams for the third round of the Coupe de Ligue. They're down here. Hopefully that means we should beat them. We're supposed to because we're supposed to get to the fourth round, and we're going to have to win two rounds of the Coupe de France. Ninth and tenth to meet expectations there. So off to the USA. How's that going? Um, I got a little bit of heat for my selection. They say I made eight changes, but I think five of those were probably just either injuries for the last one that we brought back up or injuries for this one that didn't make the squad because of that. Um, so maybe only three real changes. Uh, we're still not seeing a lot of um, – you can see, I mean, I'm trying to judge this based on on stats – but you can see here that amongst our, our national pool here, uh, not a lot of people have been playing games. Uh, this is just the – what is this? This is just defenders. But, um, but yeah, four appearances. You know, a lot of players haven't played at all. We've got some appearances in here. We've got some people that have played a lot. Um, so trying to judge by appearance, you know, by how people have played. And you can see to some – we've got Larkin in there. We've got Phil Durkin in there. These aren't necessarily top-end players, but they've played well and they deserve their chance. A number of these guys are on our youth teams, uh, you know. So, so we are getting there. How did I? What, what does this guy play? Defender center. He's playing well. He might have got a chance. I did hate. I did take some heat for my defense. Um, 
I have brought up uh, Mr. Boscovich here, Daryl Boscovich. I was 25 years old. Looks pretty good. I needed somebody. Uh, I unfortunately did not bring up John Brooks, who is um, pretty good. Uh, I don't think the problem is bringing up Boscovich. I think the problem was leaving off John Brooks. But he was 33 years old. Um, but he's he's good. This was the mistake. Um, and I think I took him off last time. I don't think it was a, a change I made this time. Um, but I think probably he should still be on. And we should have either – I'd like to say Miyazaga, but Miyazaga played pretty well last match. But potentially Miyazaga, uh, our other defensive center is Eric Palmer Brown. Um, He's a little bit younger, so maybe Miyazaga should have been gone. We should have kept him. Uh, I mean, if we just look at straight ability, then then Boscovich probably we could make a game, case for him to be off. But five million, four point nine million. Uh, Eric Palmer Brown, five point two. He's in the conversation. So I'm just trying to get a little bit younger. Uh, they have complained that my roster is too young now. Uh, it was too old when I took over. We averaged twenty four years for the overall team, but you can see our starters don't average twenty. Uh, don't average 25 years. I mean, realistically, this and yeah, that's probably pretty close to our overall starters. And you can see, you know, I've got one, two, only three players under 24. So if our average is 24, clearly it's the youth down here that's doing that. Uh, I have decided to go with Guerrero this match instead of Nate Davis. Uh, they're both youngsters. They're both playing very well. Six goals and four assists, four goals and two assists. Um, they're youngsters that are breaking into teams, so they're not getting a huge amount of play time. Uh, I take it. I mean, they're getting 26 and 29 starts. They're there, um, but but they're getting there. Christian Guerrero looks pretty good, finishing a 16. Uh, that's the difference really between him and Nate Davis. He he's a better finisher. Nate's probably better. Well, he is better everywhere else. But we've played him the last few games, so we're going to give Guerrero a chance here to start. See what he can do in a friendly against Algeria. Um, for the most part, aside from Eric Palmer Brown, let's swap him out for Boscovich. Boscovich hasn't played for a while. Um, we are starting the players that are hot at the moment for the most part. Uh, Steve Larkin, uh, defensive left, has played better than Duke. Let's go ahead and put him in. Um, and that's kind of it. Um, Noise hasn't played great at mid-center. I mean, I guess we could try swapping him out. But I don't have anybody here that's played great either. And reality-wise, I don't have any mid-centers that have played spectacular, period. I had a really hard time just trying to find defensive midfielders at all. Um, I actually stole Ryan, Ryan Forsyth here off, over, off the under-23 team. Not stole. I mean, that's the idea. You're supposed to go. Um, but that's how that went. Now, if we check here, we will look to see that our youth teams are playing great. 5-1 over Algeria for under-20s and 3-1 for the under-23s. So our youth teams played well. Hopefully that uh, will continue on with us today. Uh, the U.S. team has uh, – we did win our last – we played Paraguay. Paraguay? Paraguay, I guess. Um, we won 2-1. They were ranked ninth. We were ranked fifth. We dropped a spot from fourth to fifth. No idea why. Um, not because of anything we did. Um, you know what? We're not going to have a whole lot going on because I just realized uh, we got knocked out of the World Cup second round earlier in the year. So uh, this is probably just going to be a year of friendlies. We may not do this much. Um since we know we don't have that to look forward to anytime soon. Um, and that's probably what happened. He got canned and we got picked up for that. Uh, and they lost to France. So maybe they wanted somebody with a little bit more French knowledge, right? All right. So let's submit a team, see how we're doing. We haven't been dominant in any of our wins, but we have one. Uh, the bottom will fall out at some point. I didn't actually – I'm almost out of my drink. I didn't look to see what um, – I don't know how – Algeria is ranked. Let's uh, can we can we look really fast? Uh, overview. They're ranked 36th. Okay, so this is the lowest ranked team we've played. Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, the first game was 48th, 45th, something like that. But one of the lower ranked teams we've played. Paraguay by um, was top 10. I really do like these red jerseys with the or black jerseys with the red stripe on them though. Those are sharp looking, sharp looking unis for Team USA here. All right. Two minutes in, not much going on. And yeah, not much going on. So we'll see. 
Just nothing going on. Uh, they've had three shots. We've done nothing. Um, we're looking unsure. I think uh, I'm going to throw an early demand more out. Uh, I just I'm not really sure where we're going wrong here, but clearly nothing's happening. I mean, it's still early. Larkin's got it. Feeds it in. Pulisic. Pulisic is, can only play for 45 minutes, by the way. He's on a uh, small injury. We didn't start him. We didn't start him last week. Um, we did start him this week, but uh, but again, he's he's under coach. The team would like him to only play 45, and and I've got no problems with that. This is a friendly. There's no reason to kill players. I bitch enough about it as a as a club manager. Uh, I'm not gonna not gonna screw it up for somebody here. So we decided to start him this one rather than bring him as a sub. In the hope, oh that was terrible. In the hopes that maybe we can jump out to a league against Algeria here in the first half. And then, uh, oh my God, that was a problem in the last match too. They they continually let guys run through. We got lucky with it. We dodged bullets, but um, but our defense is our issue. Um, I don't know if we need to sit farther back uh, or what we need to do, but but they've been they are our Achilles heel at the moment. Which is funny. Well, they're the older guys, and they're up. First, they tell me we're too old and we need to get rid of them, and then whenever I swap, I try to bring somebody younger on, they complain. Uh, but, you know, older guys tend to get beat sometimes speed-wise. Maybe positioning's good. Boscovic is there. Good to see. I'd like to see him play well for us, um, if, if for no other reason than to make me look better. You know, last, last time they complained about uh, Valderrama, was that his name, uh, who isn't on the team this week. Um, but he played great for us. Uh, he was injured, I believe. Uh, is that who it was? I don't remember. Whoever it was, though, played well for us. Um, and we're just, yeah, we're not doing anything. I mean, we've only had two shots on goal. And I don't know if they've just parked the bus on us and they're hoping to play a counter-attacking game. And that's entirely possible. Um, wow, Zidane changed countries and playing, playing goal. All right, Guerrero. Guerrero can't get through. Uh, we may have to go back to the Wonder Kid. It may be that. Maybe we need to go back to Davis. There's Boscovic there, getting a touch. Playing it up to Miyazaga, up to Noyes. Harrison's got it. Over to Torres. Guerrero's just have it. We're doing these early crosses, and I'm not quite sure why. I'd rather we not. Um, Daham's there. We fed it in. Oh, my God, Miyazaga. Miyazaga making a case that he's the one that needs to be sent down. I don't think we need to see that again. I think we're going to do some serious yelling at halftime, though. And there'll be some subs. There will be some subs. Um, it would be a shame to lose this one. But at least it's not the, the guy I brought in that made the horrible mistake. Miyazaga honestly has played, I think, the worst out of our defenders. Um, and I'm not really sure why. I, I, he looks like he should be good to me. Uh, I haven't looked at the hiddens at all. Uh, again, because we're trying to judge this based on that, but he's only playing like a 6-6-6 on average. Uh, both of our uh, both of our quote unquote starting, and that's Miyazaga abused as well. Um, that wasn't him. That was Can Gannon there, but uh, it's Miyazaga is supposed to be there on that. Miyazaga's out there, or Cannon's out there. So, yeah, we're pretty well getting whooped here. Cannon and Miyazaga. Boscovich isn't playing well either. Larkin's not playing well. The whole team's not playing well at this point. Cannon's having a horrendous game. We'll make some subs at halftime. We'll give them a little bit longer here. But we're not we're not creating shots. We're not playing defensively. Um, so yeah, I think this is there may be some players that don't don't make a return. Um, so we're gonna go dressing room uh, aggressive. I expect to see much better. Tactics. T tactics. Why tactics doesn't take me to tactics, I still don't know. Um, all right, Cannon, you're coming out. Adams, you're coming in. Miyazaga, you're coming out for Palmer Brown. I don't expect better from him either, to be honest. Larkin is playing terrible. Let's get Dave Duke back in. Uh, Duke and Cannon are who played for us the first couple of games and played okay. Um, and I don't know if this is Miyazaka playing so badly that that Cannon has to make up for more ground or vice versa. But we're going to swap him. Guerrero hasn't done anything, so Nate Davis comes in. Harrison hasn't done anything, so let's put in Edgar. Pulisic has to come out. 
so maybe we just swap him with Harris. We'll do that. Let's... Can we back... Why can I not back up on this one? Undo last. There we go. Let's go here. And then let's go there. Yeah, we could put in Phil Durkin as well. Or we can put in Cowling on the left. We'll leave him in. He hasn't played well, but let's let's give him a chance. Juan Pablo's played terrible. Is there anybody I... Les Holt plays for Auger, by the way. Let's put him in. I'm going to put him in. Doesn't look bad. That's a lot of changes. But you know what? It's a friendly. There's nobody here in Algeria. We are playing in Algeria. Um, let's see if these guys can play better. We'll just pretend it's a whole other half and see what we can get going on. Uh, and maybe it's tactics. Um, I mean, although this is a tactic that's worked for me in the past, maybe we drop back to a 4-4-2. We can run Davis and Guerrero that way, and Harrison's injured. Guess you're going in, Cowling. Oh, I can't make any more. Oh, I have a... Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six subs. That's an odd number for a friendly, but okay. Um, how do I... Clear position. It's not very clear where a clear position is, is it? Um, anybody play out there? Nobody can play out there. Does anybody have crossing? Nope. Yes. And you're left footed. All right, noise. You're going out there. Okay. Confirm changes. Oops. Let's see what happens. That's our excuse, the injury. Um, but it is purely excuse. We've played horribly. We've been absolutely terrible. Um, and our defense has been at the back of it. And the thing is, they are the... They're, this is it. This is the cream of the crop. Um, get that one up to Davis, who doesn't manage to actually get to it. It's going to be difficult to get it up there for him. We'll just have to see how this one goes. Bosco, uh, Boscovich hasn't actually played badly, I don't think. Um, at least not on the highlights we've seen. He's there. He's He's been a stopper. He's got the ball moved forward. Uh, the goals haven't been scored on him. Um, so I'm actually okay bringing him up. Um it's the old guys, every single one of them, apparently, that's that's letting me down. But apparently John Brooks needs to be back, and uh, we need to see about uh, Miazga? Probably Miazga. I want to call him Miyazaka, but um, it's Miazga. Yeah, I'm going to go with Miazga. It might be like Miaga, Miega, something along those lines, but... I'm not a fan of silent letters in your name. If you put the letter in, it should be pronounced. Otherwise, why the hell did you put the letter in? It's my my theory. We've been absolutely garbage. Um, I'm going to go... I know that we're man, down a man, but I'm going to um, put us on attack and tell us to get forward. Or get creative. And nothing. Nothing. When... when Algeria looks, uh, well, I wasn't going to go for the looks comp confident, but uh, looks complacent. There's, an, there's a problem. Noise has played, played okay, um, and that's it. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of yelling. There's going to be some big changes. Clearly, this, 
despite beating Paraguay with this, this squad, um, losing to Algeria is not acceptable. And that was a horrible pass. Okay, we've got guys there. Okay, he's offside. That should be, this should be the end of the match, but this was a terrible, uh, the only bonus is despite all of the piped in shout, uh, crowd noise, there's not a single player here. Uh, just terrible, absolutely terrible. So I think we are uh, not happy with the result. We send everybody home and next game, there changes. Uh, defensive line, especially, they're, they're gone. Um, we will find different players. I don't know that we're going to find better players, um, but we're going to find different players. And that's just going to have to be how it is. Um, well, I don't care. It should, it should have reacted. They played badly. Um, I mean, what do you expect happens when players play or players play badly? Um, I don't know. I don't know. International Roundup, World Rankings. Do we drop again? Two places. Um, guys, we were we were not 13th place in the world. We dropped from 4th to 5th. So that's 10 places in the world ranking list that we've dropped. Steve Larkin, though, is happy with me. Let's actually check. Let's... Let's see what they say. Oh, so they show 15. Let's see world rankings. Because last time I looked, I could have sworn we were fifth. So where's history? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, history, world rankings. No, I guess we were, we were 12th, 13th, 15th. I don't know what I was looking at. So beating Paraguay is a bonus. So we, we beat a team that's better than us, and we lost a team that's worse than us. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I think we go through here, and uh, Miyazaga's off the national team. He's he, he's he's removed from the USA squad. Yep, gone. Um, Eric Palmer Brown hasn't played well. Six 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 <laughs> over his last five. I mean, he's he. And he's only got a sub this appearance. I don't know how out of how many games, what team does he play for? Um, yeah, I know USA, but what's your, do you, are you playing? <laughs> and he doesn't look bad. I mean, that's that. He's got the speed. He's got positioning. Those numbers look good. I, there's no reason for him to, to be whooped back there. Um, and there's no reason for Matt. Miazga to be playing badly either. Uh, again, positioning, he's got acceleration and pace. These aren't bad players. Uh, he's had 109 appearances here with uh, Warner Brennan. Where is he? Where is, let's see, where can we find career stats? Where is he now? And that's where he is now. Uh, but he's only had four appearances this season, uh, and he's played badly. Um, where's Eric Palmer Brown? That's where we got to look to get this stuff. Career stats. Uh, he's playing for Salka this season. One appearance, played badly. Uh, they just paid $5 million for him from Hertha. Let's look up John Brooks, and then I think we're done. Where's John? John Brooks. Uh, player, history, career stats. He's playing for Hoffenheim. Six appearances, 6-8. Again, and uh, Hoffenheim just paid $5 million for him. They... 29 appearances, 689. He's not exactly lighting the world on fire either. So I think we really do need to figure out what we're doing on defense. I think that's it. Uh, I think uh, Ajaccio is going to sort itself out. No issues there. I think we're fine. Um, you know, we might lose here against fifth and then and then hopefully win against number 20th the week after. Um, and that's acceptable. Uh, it's just what do we do on defense with the U.S.? Uh, obviously, we've got four years to figure it out, but we're not going to be here that long. Um, so we'll just have to look. I mean, heck, I may I may get fired if we keep plummeting like this. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.